Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name is Lauren. I did want to start off by saying I have so many new faces on YouTube, which is just so fun and exciting. I am really, really close to 10K, which is crazy. It's been definitely a goal of mine to hit for a little while now, and it's really exciting to finally be so close. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you did so I can reach my 10K subscriber goal. I remember when I hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I remember where I was. I was at work, my first job out of college, and I was sitting at the desk and I watched it hit 1,000 subscribers, which is not a lot, don't get me wrong, but it was just so fun and exciting. And now just, I remember when I hit 5,000 and now about to hit 10,000, it just is so exciting and so fun to kind of reach another milestone. I've been doing YouTube for almost five years, which slow growth, I have always enjoyed posting and even if there was no growth, no viewers, I would definitely still be posting everything. So thank you all for subscribing, sticking around, watching my YouTube videos. It means the world to me and I just have loved this platform and this journey throughout these past five years almost and hitting this or almost hitting this milestone is just really exciting and it means so much to me, so thank you. Didn't want to start off by saying that. It's Saturday, I'm about to get ready for the day. I got my hair done yesterday and I got two inches taken off. I didn't get a haircut last time I got my hair done because I saw someone, not my usual hairdresser, because she was sick, so I saw another girl in the salon. So I wanted it to be super easy for her, so I was like, just do a partial, don't cut it, don't blow dry it, don't do anything. So I didn't get it cut for four months and I almost got three inches taken off and then I was like, wait, <laughs> let me see what actually three inches is. So I went with two inches and I think it looks just way healthier and it was much needed. I wear my hair up to work a lot too and I do need to be a little bit more gentle when wearing my hair up to work because especially when it's a couple days dirty, I tend to wear it a little bit tighter. I think I need to be a little bit more careful with that, but you know when you wear your hair in a ponytail and you can just tell like it's so stringy, like it basically looks like this. I just knew it was time to get it done, but I do need to fix it a little bit. I haven't even brushed it, but it's always nice to kind of go into the weekend with not having to wash your hair. So, saved me some time this morning, but I just did my new face, we just ate breakfast, just cleaned up, and I had just a slower morning, didn't want to pick up the camera yet. Work was just a little bit stressful this past week. It honestly has been, I just feel like I'm drowning all the time. And I got to work from home on Thursday because there was a hurricane off the coast, which my heart goes out to everyone that was affected by the hurricane. We were so lucky here in Orlando where we just had rain and wind and branches fell down, but like no real damage in my area or to my family's homes or anything like that. So we were really lucky, but I have seen all over social media, all the damage and the scary videos of people that didn't end up evacuating. I just, I couldn't even imagine losing everything. It is very heartbreaking. So my heart goes out to you if you were affected. So I worked from home on Thursday because we really didn't know what the weather was gonna be like. Um, but I did not even leave the desk in here. Didn't take a lunch, I was just so busy. So um, using this weekend to kind of unplug from work and not think about it and relax and try not to be anxious about Monday, even though I kind of am because I just have the longest to-do list ever, ever, and it sucks. But I'm about to wash my face and I did my new face already and I'm gonna do my skincare and then get ready for the day. But I got, I got sucked into TikTok shop and I got this Glow Me Brightening Facial Cleanser and it wasn't even an ad that was presented to me. It was this girl that I follow and she was talking about something totally different and she was just going through like her skincare and her makeup products while like talking about like a life story 
and she was putting this on her face and she was like by the way this stuff is amazing she didn't link it i couldn't see what the label was i quickly went to the comments and was like looking for what she was talking about and it's a brightening facial cleanser so i use this in the morning i've only had it for a couple days so i can't really speak on any results but i am trying to brighten some hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin and this was very very cheap I think it was under $20 and it has rose water turmeric extract and kojic acid I think that's how you say it but correct me if I'm wrong it brightens so I am just trying I've been trying so hard to get rid of this dark spot and I can always see it makeup doesn't cover it I just want even toned skin especially now that my wedding's coming up but my bridal hair and makeup trial that I did do a couple weeks ago, I couldn't even see the dark spot, so that's a plus. I feel like the makeup really covered it well and the products that she used, so that's something good. But for the wedding and for wedding skin prep, I'm not doing like hydrofacials or like the typical like lasers and everything. I'm trying to do everything at home with either more affordable products or products that I already have. But if you have any tips for skincare, wedding day, skin prep that you did that you swear by that doesn't cost hundreds of dollars because it's just not, I don't know how people are paying for hydrofacials every single month leading up to their wedding while also covering wedding expenses and just every other thing that comes with planning a wedding and paying for a wedding and also living your normal everyday life. I just don't know how people are putting that into their budget, if truthfully, because it's like $300 a month. So, and I just don't know, I've never gotten a hydrofacial, so maybe they are absolutely life-changing, but let me know if you did anything leading up to your wedding that gave you just like flawless skin, whether it's like a mask or like a sheet mask or a specific product. Let me know. I do love the skincare that I've incorporated this year. I use a lot of um, medical grade skincare. So I've been using the Skin Better Science for six months, actually seven months now. And these have lasted seven months. I am almost empty. I do have to repurchase and I will be repurchasing, but 110% worth the money in my opinion. I was using Zeo Skin and they weren't my favorite. These are my favorite. They last way longer than Zeo Skin lasted for me. Zeo Skin, I think it lasted like two months for me, maybe three. Not that long, but like seven months. I do only use these once a day though. And they are the bigger size, the 1.7 fluid ounce, but seven months for skincare. I feel like that's pretty good. So I've just been really trying to focus on skincare. I also feel like I've been using tretinoin since I was probably 18. So probably over 10 years I've used tretinoin. So I feel like that has really done wonders for my skin throughout the years. So any tips, but I've been incorporating this for brightness. We'll see. So let's, I'm a little bit scared for getting on my crew neck so we'll just try our best here you know like to, i don't know how to do this and i don't use the applicator but this stuff will stain i use these because i don't want to ruin any of my towels or anything because they're white or like green so i just use a couple of these i got these from target they're like the kleenex hand towels you can use them on your face they're pretty soft too, but I know there's probably softer. I'm gonna look crazy with this on. It's very yellow. And I let this sit. Turn that off so I don't waste water. I let this sit on my skin for a little bit too. I don't normally wash my face in the morning. I usually just rinse it with water because I find that that works best. So this is kind of like trial for me because I don't know how my skin is going to react but so far after three days it's fine and i look crazy but i don't really care and then i just let it sit kind of for a couple minutes okay now that it's been a couple minutes i'm gonna rinse it off and then dry the towels and this is why you want to use the towels i don't know if you can see that now i'm gonna go in with my regular skincare I use this facial spray that helps with bacteria and then the two products that I showed Road and then just a hyaluronic acid. This is just from Amazon 
Oh, and then like an eye cream. Moisturizer has been this, which I love. It's my favorite. Just wanted to start off the vlog. Welcome back to another video. I just threw on my favorite sweat set of all time. I'm so glad I got the matching shorts for this. This is my favorite. I 110% will always recommend Daily Drills sweat sets. They're in incredible it is so rainy and dreary outside i think i'm gonna make a smoothie as a snack and hang out on the couch and watch some youtube just wanted to be comfy and cozy today which i usually am but let's make a smoothie i've been trying to burn through this candle right here i've had it since last season and i think i'm gonna clean all the wax out of it and use it as decor because why not I want to get some different fruit for smoothies because I honestly drink smoothies year round, but I want different fruit because I don't want it so tropical. Okay, so the smoothie that I'm going to make today is strawberry and banana. I'm going to do frozen spinach, chia seeds. I'm adding some fiber a little bit of Greek yogurt and then I think I'm gonna add some cashew milk just to thicken it up a little bit This candle finally burned out just a second ago. So I'm gonna boil some water and then fill this up with boiling water to get that off the bottom. And then I'll probably put this on my TV stand or something. And then I have a replacement candle that's just been sitting with this in the corner. I can't remember. Oh, vanilla pumpkin. Is that the same scent? Okay, this is pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, that smells. Delish, but I love how these kind of double as decor, <laughs> honestly. You can even put stuff in this, which is nice. You can even put it in your bathroom and put Q-tips, cotton swabs, things like that. You could even put little lights in it if you wanted to, like fairy lights. I'm just gonna wait for this to cool down and then clean it all out. Good morning, I'm about to take my vitamins and drink my warm lemon water, but today I'm gonna be making a pumpkin spice chai at home. I got this Elmhurst oat creamer in chai spice, and then I have this Nut Pods creamer in pumpkin spice. This one is just such a dull flavor. If you're looking for something to add a ton of flavor to your coffee, this is definitely not it. I love Nut Pods, but this this one isn't my favorite. My favorite is the coffee cake or the toasted marshmallow. Those are my favorite. I'm gonna be trying a new coffee recipe today because we only have a couple more weeks till I'm basically decorating for Christmas and it's like the holidays time. November is usually when I'm like decorating for Christmas or in full Christmas mode, like fall candles are gone, it's Christmas candles. And I guess this is kind of like a year round or like a fall and winter, but no more pumpkin spice once it hits November. So we're gonna be trying this out and seeing how it is, getting the last bit of fall stuff in before Christmas. I think I'm gonna put this pumpkin pie spice on top. This is what I've been putting in my coffee every day since it became like fall instead of cinnamon and I've really been liking it so I think I'm gonna do that too because I've been doing that for a while. I used to drink celery juice every single day and I did this for like five or six months and I stopped and I'm back on it for skin and gut health. So put that in here. 
And then the only thing that sucks about these is that this has 30 servings and it only lasts seven to 10 days in the fridge. So you end up wasting some, but also I feel like a lot of the times I always do like more than a serving when it comes to creamer. There's no way. I'm definitely doing two. I don't know why I'm measuring. I just don't wanna put too much. This is so yummy, you have to try it. I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup. I'm doing some laundry and the main reason why I wanted to put on makeup today, which I was gonna let my skin breathe, but Merit sent over their holiday gift sets. These are lipsticks and then these are blushes and they're mini, which I'm excited about. So I wanted to try them. I'm probably not putting on any more makeup, just past blush. I put a little bit of concealer on and then a little bit of bronzer and that's it so i wanted to finish off with blush because i really wanted to try these out but these would be a great gift idea for the holidays i know it's really early to think about that but merit is ahead of schedule so the three colors are mood stockholm and bespoke this is the limited edition one which is reminding me of the road blush that i'm obsessed with look at these colors for fall I'm obsessed with blushes currently, and I love these dark shades. In this set, there's also this pink one. Pretty baby pink. And then a bunch of lip shades, which I'm not a huge lipstick person, but I do love to dab lipsticks on, especially if you throw it in your purse and you're like out to dinner and you're going out after to get like a drink or something. These are really pretty colors to kind of just dab to add color, but also I mean to apply just like lipstick. This one is probably my favorite. My battery light is flashing at me, but this really pretty color too. Just changed my battery, but really pretty colors, really great gift idea, even if it's not for the holidays. So I think I'm gonna do this bespoke shade. It's a limited edition brown pink color. Also, my face, I need to add a little bit more bronzer because it looks so different than the rest of my body. The thing that I love about Merit blushes is that they're so buildable. They start off so natural, which is nice to add like a little bit of color. So pretty, I love this color. And I love how many they are. Let me do a size comparison. For reference, little minis. This is like the perfect thing to throw in your bag to add color. You could even put this on your lips too, which is great. You can add it to your cheeks and to your lips and throw it in a little bag for going out to dinner or something just to have something on hand so you're not having multiple products. This would be so pretty on your lips too. great two-in-one product so we'll link this stuff down below if you're interested getting ahead of holiday gifting or even if you have like friends birthdays coming up or anything like that great gift so just wanted to share as i was just doing some makeup i'm not putting on anymore this is all i'm gonna do but i did want to try out this blush color really bad and i can't wait to try out the other colors